Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather and today I am doing something crazy. I am going to attempt to make beef short ribs in the deluxe air fryer. Now I say attempt because I have a hard time believing that you can take just 15 minutes and have good tasting tender short ribs in your deluxe air fryer or any air fryer for that matter. But recipe after recipe that I found said that it is indeed possible. I don't know if this is going to be the thing or what, but I just, I'm just putting it out there right now. I'm very nervous because if you have ever made beef short ribs, you know how much they cost. These two packs of beef short ribs cost about $160. So to say that I am invested in this for you is an understatement. So please give this video a like so that I can pay for the beef short ribs. Okay, anyway, what are we gonna need to do this? We're gonna need two teaspoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of parsley flakes, and two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, if you are not on camera right now, go ahead and get your air fryer started at 390. But since I'm standing right here next to the air fryer, I'm not gonna start it yet because I really don't like the interference in my mic. Let's go ahead and mix together our seasoning. So let's do all of our salt and pepper, our garlic powder, our onion powder, and our parsley. And I'm just gonna whisk it together until we have our rub. Now, alternately, I'm pretty sure that you could just use your favorite Kinder's rub or any rub that you like on your meat. Um, this was just, believe it or not, the overwhelming spice rub mix that most everybody was using. Like there was some variation. Some people said sprinkle parsley at the end. Some people said cook it with parsley. Some people said real garlic. Some people said garlic powder. And so I just kind of went with a variation of everything that I read. And I'm gonna put the parsley in using garlic powder. But like I mentioned, I did actually consider just doing the wood fired garlic from uh, Kinder's because we really like that flavor on beef. But I was like, okay, let's do it like this first, just so that we get the best, like overall, everybody can imitate this if it's good. All right, make sure you also have a thermometer nearby because we're gonna know these are done when the internal temperature reaches about 160. Now, those of you who like your steak rare, um, unfortunately, when you're talking about ribs, you really do want to bring those ribs up to about the 160, 165 temperature because that will make it the most tender and falling off the bone. Um, so this is not a medium rare type of thing. All right, let's cut into this thing. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to dry these guys really well. Um, I have, I saw on some websites, they said that you could dry it and then put it in your refrigerator for a couple hours to kind of dry age, even though that's not really aging it, but you can dry it out that way. Um, however, I didn't have the fridge space at the time and I want to get these done. So I'm just going to use my paper towel and dry it as best as I can. Now, since this doesn't fit in my air fryer, we are gonna have to cut it. Now, there's a thick part over here. See all that thickness? And then there's a thick part here, so there's our bones. But then if you turn it over, we have really thick here and really thin here. So I'm going to assume that this side is going to cook way um, longer than this side. So maybe I will cut it right here at this bone to put this bone with the one that will cook faster. That way maybe it will, I don't know. Okay, I think what I have decided, because there's quite a bit of meat on this exact bone, I'm actually going to cut it here 
cook these ones because these ones will be done first and then these ones will eventually come to temperature and be done. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna just find that bone area and I'm just going to slice right through it with a very sharp knife. I love my Pamper Chef knives. If you are looking for a good set of knives, you don't have to buy them from me, although I do sell them. I am a Pamper Chef consultant, but I have been so pleased with Pamper Chef's knives over all these years. I have not used anything else and I've given them away as gifts to many, many a people who are getting married and they love their knives too. Okay, I'm gonna make sure this is all dried off again just because I want it to be nice and dry. And then what we are gonna do is we are going to sprinkle our seasoning all over our meat. And we're gonna do the sides and the top and the edges and all of the places because we definitely want that in there. Okay, the other thing that I thought I would mention, I did a lot of Googling because I was like, am I supposed to take off the membrane as with pork ribs? I saw a guy and if I can find that video again, I will tell you who it is in the comments, but I found a guy who did a blind taste test of taking the membrane off and not taking the membrane off. And then he had his partner taste them and they could not taste the difference. Um, in fact, the one guy in this video actually said that he preferred the one with the membrane on instead of without because it held in more moisture. So I decided to leave the membrane on for that reason and that reason alone. Now, because my air fryer is large, but not as large as two of these racks of ribs, I'm gonna save the other rack of ribs and decide if I think that this method is worthy of a second $80 rack of ribs. Oh, that hurts to say that. Okay, let me go ahead and clean up. The other thing that I remembered as I was washing my hands is that you definitely need your, um, your meat to be at room temperature before it goes into your air fryer um, because that way you have good even cooking. Because if, if it's really cold on the inside, then the chances that it will cook all the way through are very, very slim. So just make sure that you have room temperature meat uh, before you start. So let's start with the huge one because then we'll know how long and go from there. Do I think it's going to take 15 minutes to cook? No, I do not. All right, before it goes into the air fryer, we are going to cover it with some oil. And um, it says about two tablespoons of oil for each two pound ribs. I was gonna call them prime ribs, but no, they're just ribs. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and use this hand to get the oil all over. All right, and once you have well oiled, now I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the air fryer at 390. And because my thermometer has a cord and a probe, I'm actually going to insert it into the thickest part of the meat here. Let's see the best option. Thickest part of the meat here so that I can monitor what's going on on the inside of my air fryer. Right now the meat's about 70, no, 49. So that will give me the precise temperature that it's going to be done. So I'm gonna let this preheat for five minutes. All right, and once your air fryer has been preheating about five minutes, we're gonna get that in and get the timer started. Oh, good luck, good luck. All right, there we go. So I'll be back when that comes to temperature. See ya. Okay, here we are at two minutes and um, we're only at 60, nope, we're only at 59. So my thought is, is this is gonna take way longer than 15 minutes. I'll tell you the exact time. I'm gonna put it in for another 20, making 35 minutes total and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm back and unfortunately it took about 60 minutes to come to 155, 156. 
I'm gonna wrap it in foil and let it rest for 10 minutes and it should continue to that 160 mark. But are you ready to see the results? I peaked and I mean, other than the fact that it took an awfully long time, looks pretty good. The other thing I will mention is that I was doing some research after it didn't take 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Um, I think that the recipe that I was following that said 15 minutes was boneless, which makes a ton of sense. So 60 minutes in your air fryer and this is your results. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that beautiful. Uh, I, that is pretty awesome. Look at how beautiful that looks. Okay, and now we are going to get it wrapped up into the foil so that it can continue to get to 165. I'm gonna leave my thermometer in there though because I wanna know that it got to 165. Now, I did, um, put together my other roasts back there, or my ribs, I should say. Um, I still am reserving judgment as to what I'm gonna do with it, if it's gonna go in the air fryer, or if I'm going to do something else like barbecue, sous vide, etc. cetera. Um, so let's give this 10 minutes, and then I'll come back to try, and then we'll decide what we're doing with everything else. All right, we'll be back in 10. Okay, you guys, it has reached the grand total of 171. It's still raising a little and that's fine because it can get up to like 200 before it's like dried out. Um, so let's unwrap it and see what we got. Oh, look at that. It looks nice and juicy, still very hot. Let's tilt it just a little bit. Oh, look at all the juices. Oh my goodness. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the probe and then I'm gonna cut one of these off. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut into this and see what we got. Oh, the knife slides right through. Oh my, look at that. So as you can see, it's still a little pink, which is good. It means that it's probably not completely overdone like I'd feared, but because I'm not a super eat off the bone type of person, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut that so I can taste it and see what I think. Look at how juicy that is. Oh my goodness, Whew, and it's hot. All right, I'm just gonna cut that into a couple pieces so I can taste it. And then I'm gonna decide if this method is worth my time because it did take about 60 minutes. Ooh, all right. Would I call it so tender that you could chew it off the bone? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put it up my mouth. Mmm, <laughs> that's a good rub. Definitely stick with that spice rub. Ooh, okay, I wanna keep eating it. It is very good. Um, if you don't have a barbecue available, I really do think mm, that this is a valid method. Oh my gosh, it's so juicy. Tender, I'm not sure it's that tender, but I do feel like it is delicious and I think anyone I serve this to would also think so. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half. I'm gonna get my guy's opinion then we'll decide how we're going to do the next set of these because this is probably about $40 worth of ribs and then the nether 140s back there. So I'm just going to get their opinion before I continue. So give me about two seconds, ready? All right, you guys, the verdict is in. Check out these bones. Um, they agreed, this is fantastic. It had fantastic flavor, it had a fantastic crust. The only thing that would make this even better than it was, was that it was a little more tender, but I think that that tenderness comes with a lower and slower cook. Um, but overall, this is a, this is 100%, you can do this in your air fryer, we will do it again. In fact, the other set is right here, ready to go. The only downfall that I will say is that I can only get one half a rack in at a time. So if you were feeding a large group, this really isn't very feasible, but if it's just you and maybe a couple people in your house, you can definitely utilize your air fryer for short ribs. 
so delicious. All right, you guys. Well, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week and I'm always looking for the next adventure. Short ribs in the air fryer. I'm a little bummed it didn't take 15 minutes, but 60 minutes, I just have to plan differently. But this is valid and this is good. And my son said it's an A recipe. The only thing better would be A plus, slow cooked, a little bit more tender, but it's an A recipe. So don't believe me, you should try it in your air fryer. All right, you guys, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna have a great day. I'm gonna finish this up. So I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.